shoe shine, huh? It's un arte. I'm gonna start it stupid like that in case it turns out really dope. The old candid outtake, classic. Are, you, are we going? Hey guys, my name is Corey Stevens. I am the founder and CEO of Taft, and I also design all the shoes. We always get countless requests for shoe shine, tips, videos. Shoe care is a huge thing, and when you buy and spend this kind of money on shoes, you deserve to know how to take care of them. And so I wanted to start with, the, with one of my pairs of shoes. Um, I wanna show you how I care for them, what I do, the products that I use, and, and just really help you to make sure that you feel confident when purchasing our shoes that you know how to care for them. I first want to start by introducing these shoes a little bit. Um, this is a pair of Viking boots, the actual original sample pair of Vikings that I used. Um, I designed a pair, we had it made, and then I started wearing them when I was remodeling a home. And so I absolutely destroyed them. The laces are frayed, the leather is cut, dry as can be, the soles are in really bad shape. I mean, I kicked down walls, I stepped on nails, stepped on staples, ripped them with nails, staples, wood, everything. I mean, they're in really bad shape and I, I purposely did that for this video. So this is what they start looking like and I wanted to show you guys, this is one of the shoe bags. I use it to, to hold all my shoe care stuff. Way more than you need, like don't, don't let this concern you. I'm gonna pick the good stuff and the stuff that works for this type of leather and then we're gonna get started. The leather conditioner, leather cleaner, maybe mink oil just because they may need some darkening and mink oil typically darkens things a bit. Horsehair brush, 100% horsehair so you don't scratch the leather. Your boots will come with two sets of laces. I couldn't find my other pair because this was a sample pair so they didn't come with two. Um, but I have a friend that owns a shoe company so I'll just ask him for a pair. Got everything I need. I have a little bit of water here uh, just to help clean. An old t-shirt, an old sock, a shining manopla in Spanish. I don't know how you say it, manopla. We'll go brown polish, maybe a neutral, but probably not. So that's what I need. Everything else I'm gonna put away. Okay, so first things first. Remove the laces. You have to take out the laces. The tongue needs a lot of care as well. And if you leave the laces in, you can't get to the tongue. The first thing you wanna do, take your horsehair brush and just brush as best you can. There's so much dirt, so much buildup on here. So just brush, try and get whatever you can off. And did you see that cut? I mean, I totally trashed these, man. So again, 100% horsehair brush. This hair, horsehair is really gentle, so it won't scratch the leather any more than it's already scratched. And you can see all of our shoes are hand painted and stained. And so when you really, really work them, eventually you can get down to a crust leather, which is pretty white and van a vanilla color. And that's what's happening here. I worked them so hard that I started getting down to the crust. And so we're gonna have to darken them up a bit. So now that that's done, with these being so destroyed, I'm probably also going to just wipe them down with, with a, a wet paper towel. Um, there's, I'm, there's plenty more dirt on there, so I'm just gonna wipe them down. Just try and clean things up a bit. Just dab a little bit of water, not too much. You don't wanna soak them. Don't forget to wipe down the tongue. That's why we took out the laces. Just gonna brush them down a little bit. Just to make sure they're clean. And before we proceed, we're gonna wait for these to dry. As long as you use water pretty sparingly, it should just take a couple minutes to dry and then we can move to the next step. When you're waiting for your shoes to dry, cause I was just thinking, oh, we're filming. How can I speed this up? Do not put your shoes by a heat source. Leather is just like our skin. And so if you get it wet and then dry it really quickly with too much heat, it can actually crack. And it's not good for the leather. So just be patient, let it dry on its own, just in normal room temperatures, and then, um, and then proceed to cleaning and conditioning. Okay, I had a few people questioning. Uh, this is actually wondering kind of, you know, what, what kind of quality this is. This is a Nautica medium. You could use small, you could use large, extra large, whatever size, honestly. Um, any size will work. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's, let's put that behind us. So let me, let me show you how I like to do this. If you just, I like to wrap 
my index finger and my pointer finger like that, um, just to, to have a good solid hold. Um, and I'm gonna take the cleaner. So this is just Griffin's premium leather cleaner. We're coming out with our own leather cleaner um, specifically for our leather, so just do that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna do the example with this and I'm just gonna take a bit of it. It's just a clear liquid and I'm just gonna take it and apply it. This just cleans, gets all that surface dirt. It smells like a cleaner. It's, it's just like taking a shower for your leather. Really helpful and it already is looking so much better just with the cleaner. So again, just now you're gonna wait for these to dry. They're almost, they're almost already dry. Um, but we'll just let them dry and then we're gonna condition the leather. Okay, so after, after cleaning, I probably waited four minutes, you know, not, not long. Um, again, I'm gonna take this shirt. This is a medium from Nautica. You can use any kind of shirt, um, any size, any shirt. <laughs> that joke's gonna fall flat. <laughs> the next step, I would typically use a leather conditioner. Mink oil is one type of conditioner. It's typically, I mean, I've found that it's more often used on more rugged boots. A lot of our styles are, are pretty refined and stylish, um, not necessarily work boots, but this, this boot, um, mink oil typically, I've found that it darkens the leather a little bit typically. And so with this leather, I'm cool with it being a little bit darker, but I know that mink oil, being an oil, you can even use coconut oil, um, or you know, solid state coconut oil at this point. It just, it just moisturizes that leather, sinks into the pores and just gives it life. Um, it's really, really important. And so I'm gonna use mink oil. Okay, and now like all the other steps, uh, just wait a couple minutes for them to dry. Let that, let that soak into the pores of the leather. Okay, one thing that I forgot um, that I like to do and I just forgot, I just get that, get my rag a little wet and just run it along the sole, clean the sole as well. Um, the sole is an easy way to make your shoes look a lot better and it shouldn't be neglected. I'm feeling like a rock star. For what's more for me tonight. One of the most common questions I get is what, what polish do I use? There's super expensive polishes. Um, Saphir is probably the most famous one. I just go my reliable Kiwi. It's available anywhere, CVS, Rite Aid, your grocery store. It's like two bucks, 249, lasts just as long. I, I found it works great. Um, so I'm gonna use the Kiwi brown on this pair because the shoes are brown. <laughs> Again, that same grip, just I take these two fingers, wrap it around real tight, and then just hold it here. So just take some of it, and I'm, I like to start at the toe cap. And you're just gonna rub it in in a circular motion, small little circles. Make sure it gets in all the little cracks, all the little creases. These shoes are really beat up and really scarred and mangled up in the front. So I'm just gonna make sure, be really thorough up there so that all the creases and all the cracks and all the things that I did to them get a little, get a little polish in there. Again, I remember, I, I know how to care for my shoes. I know when and, and how to use them, but I really tried to beat these up uh, so I could make this video and just show you that when you make, when you buy nice shoes and there's nice, le nice leather being used, nice inner calfskin lining, nice soles and good solid construction, you can put your shoes through a lot and they're gonna last you, but you do need to know how to care for them. And that's what hopefully this video series does for you. I have a, a neutral shoe polish that I like to put on top. Uh, this is from Griffin, uh, just a neutral. But for me, it just gives it a little bit more shine. I'm not like a mirror shine kind of guy, um, but, but this gives it a little bit of a shine that I like. I've applied just a touch of this neutral polish. It's a bit more waxy, so it has a better shine to it. 
Um, now we just wanna make sure that they're really dry. If you start to buff before the polish is dry, you tend to just buff off all the polish, all the work you just did, you just kind of scrape it off with the brush. Despite a horsehair brush being pretty gentle, it's still abrasive enough to take that top layer off. And so just let it really dry. Um, it shouldn't feel sticky to you anymore once it's really dry. So let it dry, let, be, be patient, uh, because it will definitely result in a better shine. They feel pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and start buffing them. Um, so horsehair brush, this is how I like to start. So you just take your horsehair brush. Let's make some room here. And I hold it like this and you just lightly run it back and forth. So that is a quick, uh, something you can do while you're watching sports or you know, Saturday morning while you're waiting for your kids to get up or if you don't have kids, just whenever you want. <laughs> um, you can go way crazier than this. I'm a pretty basic, simple guy. Um, I'm just gonna put these laces on there now. I picked these up at the store. Again, your shoes will come with a spare pair of laces, and so one time when you decide it's the right time, you can go ahead and switch the laces out for the fresh ones, and it just gives it, you know, even if I made these look beautiful, when I threw, if I were to throw these old tattered laces back on there, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't look good. And so I'm just gonna use these new ones because I've, I've really trashed these and I wanna start wearing them again. So I, I'm gonna put them on. Uh, I wanna show you guys how they look. <laughs> so let me, uh, okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, I love these boots. They're so worn in. Oh yeah. They look good. They feel great. Sweet. So I destroyed them. I beat them up as best I could. Scratches, nails, kicked down walls, stepped on all sorts of stuff. But they're back to looking healthy looking good and they're just so, so comfortable. So everyone, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And just a reminder, we're gonna start doing this for every type of shoe. So if you're watching and saying, hey, I have the Jack boots, or hey, I have the Jude's and they're suede, or hey, they're, these are wool and I don't know how to care for them. We're gonna start doing these types of videos for every every type of shoe we make. So if it's, if it's suede, the care instructions are completely different from what we just did. And so don't worry. Uh, we've gotten tons of requests for this, so we're gonna start making these videos for each type of shoe, and we're gonna start doing it quickly because I know you deserve it. So we'll start knocking it out. We'll get you everything you need, and thank you for watching.